Did you know, looking at pictures of dogs improves well-being? You know what, this gives me an idea. To help improve others' well-being, what if we make our bot send good morning messages with a dog gif every day? Well, in this video we're going to be doing exactly that. And before we start, make sure you check out my previous videos for this Discord bot series if you haven't watched those already. Okay, enjoy! So let's start off by creating an asynchronous function called schedule daily message. So essentially what we want our program to do is wait for some time and then send a message. And then wait for some time again and send a message. So how do we figure out how much time we want the program to wait? Well, we can essentially try to find the time between the current time and the scheduled time for the message to be sent. And then we can wait for that amount of time. So to find the amount of time we want the program to wait, we can use a module called date time. So what is our program doing? Essentially, first off, we store the current date and time in the variable now in the form of a date time object. And then we add one day to now and then store that in then. And then we replace it with the hour and minute we want the message to be sent at. And then all we need to do is do then minus now and then dot total seconds to find the duration between these two daytime objects. Finally, we just need to make our program wait for some time based on the value stored in the wait time variable. So to make our program wait, we can use a module called asyncio. So we do import asyncio. And all we need to do is do asyncio.sleep wait time. So now we just need to send a message on Discord after this line of code gets executed. So to do that, we need to know where exactly we want to send the message. So we need the channel ID of where we want the message to be sent. So to do that, you're going to want to go on Discord and right click on the channel and click on copy ID. But if you don't have this copy ID option, then you can go to settings and click on advanced and make sure that this is selected. Now since we had the ID copied to our clipboard, we can do channel equals bot dot get channel and then paste the channel ID. Now we can await channel dot send good morning. Um before we run our program make sure you change this line. Um it's supposed to be a plus sign not a period here because we are adding one day to now. Also, there's one more thing. We need to make sure we await this line because when we call the asyncio.sleep function, we want our program to wait for a certain time. And we're doing that inside of an asynchronous function. And to do that, we can just use the await syntax. So if we run our program right now, we would have to wait for one full day to see what our program does. So instead, for testing purposes, we can just comment this line out and do then equals now dot replace r in minute. And for r in minute, I'm instead going to put 15 for r and 57 for minute. And the reason I'm doing that is right now it's 3.56 pm. 
So at 3.57 p.m. the bot is going to send a message saying good morning. But we need to call the function and we need to call it in the on ready function. And we need to await it because the function is an asynchronous function. Now we can run our program and see the magic happen. Cool, so now it's 3.57pm and we get a message from the bot. Now all we need the bot to do is send a specific type of dog drift along with this message. So imagine you just wake up in the morning and then you see a cute dog and it's just saying good morning to you. So to send a dog drift, we can use a line of code that we wrote in a previous video. So we can copy this line and paste it here, but instead of doing ctx.send, we can do channel.send. And instead of ctx.invokedwidth, we can do play. So let's just change up the numbers and run our code. Cool, so we got a message from Dogbot along with a GIF. So you might have noticed this, but essentially right now our code doesn't send daily messages, it just sends one message and then it doesn't do anything. So if we want our message to be sent every day at the specific time, then we want to put this block of code in a while too. And if we do this, it should work. Nice. So we were able to create some code to send a message at a certain time every single day. Wait, I have something important to say. Why haven't you subscribed yet? I mean, you've come so far in the video and you haven't subscribed? Look, it's 100% free, you won't miss out on new videos, and you'll help other coders find my channel. Also, make sure you hit the bell icon when you subscribe because then you'll get a notification every time I upload a new video. Okay, yeah, that's it. Bye.